Today, the president likened the Obama administration's Uranium One deal to the Watergate scandal that brought down President Nixon in 1974. The uranium sale to Russia and the way it was done, so underhanded, with tremendous amounts of money being passed, I actually think that's Watergate modern age. Congressman Devin Nunes represents California. He chairs the House Intelligence Committee. He's been trying to investigate both the Uranium One deal and the mysterious Trump dossier that we now know was funded in part by the Clinton campaign and the Democratic National Committee. Chairman Nunes joins us tonight. Mr. Chairman, thanks for coming on. It's great to be here. So um, one of the most terrifying facts that we've learned in the past two days is that the FBI apparently was one of the funders of this dossier even after Trump was elected president. How can that be? Well, let's take one step at a time here, Tucker. So we don't know that yet. Uh, part of the reason why we don't know that is because we have actually subpoenaed FBI and Justice Department to give us this information. What we know so far for fa that's we believe to be factual uh, from the Washington Post piece is that the Democrats paid for the dossier. They right. paid Fusion GPS for the dossier. We believe that to be true. Uh, but. We have Fusion GPS that pled the fifth, so they refuse to testify. They're now trying to block us from getting information to get to financial records of who they paid, uh, who, could have, who could they have paid, who could have they have hired, all those sorts of things. They're trying to block us on that. Uh, so on what I grounds, think once we, by the way, well, on, on what grounds could you say we don't have a right to know that? Well, I mean, look, there, we've subpoenaed the documents, uh, and we're waiting. We have the House General Counsel now representing us in court. Uh, but when you plead the fifth, and then you go to court to try to block us from getting the information, and then it gets leaked to the Washington Post that the, Demo that the DNC and the Hillary campaign paid for this, right. I think we have a problem. Uh, now I think the next focus is going to be on whether or not did the FBI use this dossier to get any warrants? Did they use it to open up a counterintelligence investigation? And if they did, if they're using unverified information to open up uh, inquiries into American citizens, I think we have a big problem. From a political campaign, I mean, the from purpose a, of this information, from a political campaign, which is unverified in some cases, demonstrably false, was to affect the outcome of an election. So it's a pretty simple question. You're the chairman of one of the most powerful committees in the House of Representatives. Why can't you get an answer? You would think we would be able to, and that that is the problem. Was well, that this constitutional? Is, this is why this is why the Speaker of the House came out this morning uh, and called on DOJ to provide this information immediately to the House of Representatives. And this is why we're in court now, uh, just trying to get this information. And look, this has been since March. It's not like. It's not like this is new. We didn't just stumble into this. You know, these subpoenas were issued, I think, almost 60 days ago. But the FBI is not its own country. It can't make its own unilateral decisions, right? Well, last time I checked, it was the United States Congress that created uh, FBI. So is there anything more terrifying than the prospect of an armed rogue agency? No. No. And I, and I think that's the challenge here, is if you had, if you had an unverified dossier paid for by political opponents, in this case the Democratic Party, that then the FBI is taking and using to open up investigations into a campaign, right, right, or into, or into, you know, to other Americans, uh, we are on a slippery slope. I mean, I think this is uh, what you see in third world countries where the, the p party in power uses the intelligence services uh, for their political gain. You don't see that in the United States of America. Has any, I mean, there's a new FBI director, there are, you know, lots of FBI officials that go on television. Has, has anybody from the FBI publicly explained why they're not letting the House Intelligence Committee know this information? No, they have not. Not yet. It's, that's really upsetting. So the Uranium One scandal, we now know that a Democratic lobbying firm in Washington, the Podesta Group, was engaged in lobbying on behalf of these interests. And we know that the Clinton found Family Foundations took over $100 million from board members of Uranium One. Is anybody going to get to whether the obvious happened? That was a quid pro quo. They paid, they got the deal ratified by federal agencies. We get to the bottom of that. So here's, here's what I think is uh, disturbing and what we're looking for first. So the new information here, a lot of people are asking, well, what happened? You know, this was seven years ago. What happened? So first of all, you had Republicans back in 2010 
wrote in opposition to the sale of, on this, right. to Uran of Uranium One. Then we now have information, this is the new information. We have informants who have said that there was an open FBI DOJ investigation. We have people who have told us that this. We don't know if it's true yet. But if it's true, shortly after that, so if you have an open investigation, how do nine cabinet level secretaries approve, approve a sale? And then you have all the questions that you raise, you know, was the Clinton Foundation involved in this? What was, you know, there was millions of dollars. And where was Foundation. American national security and American interest in this not present? Mr. Chairman, thank you for coming on and good luck getting thank that you. information. We'll get it one way or another.